Chapter 3 More on MS PowerPoint 2016 Learning Objectives Applying Animation Effects Adding Transition Effects Inserting Sound Clips Inserting Video Clips Importing Data from Word Introduction PowerPoint is a useful application that provides various tools, features and effects to improve the appearance of presentation. These special effects help you in making your presentation attractive, effective, engaging and professional. Applying Animation Effects Moving objects such as text, graphics, charts, logos, etc. that are made up of a sequence of images displayed one after another on the basis of slide are called animations. It gives visual effects to your presentation and also sizzle up your slide objects like text, pictures, shapes, tables, smart art graphics, etc. by applying sound effects. To apply animation effects to the slide objects, follow the given steps. Open any presentation. Select the object that is to be animated. On the Animations tab of the ribbon in the Animation group, click the More button and then select the animation effect that you want. A drop-down menu will appear with four different categories of animation effects, which are as follows. Entrance As the name indicates, these effects determine the manner in which an object enters into a slide during the slideshow. These effects make an object fade gradually into focus, fly onto the slide from an edge, bounce into view and so on. Emphasis These effects decide how the objects on the slide draw attention to themselves during the slideshow. These effects make an object shrink or grow in size, change color or spin on its center, etc. Exit these effects control the manner in which the object exits from the slide during the slideshow. Some of these effects are Disappear, Fade, Fly out, Float out, Split, etc. Motion Paths You can use these effects to make an object move up or down, left or right or in a circular pattern, etc. You can also control when an animation should be played by clicking on the drop-down button of the start box in the timing group and selecting any one of the displayed options. On click to start the animation after a mouse click. With previous to start the animation at the same time as the previous animation effect in the list. After previous to start the animation effect immediately after the previous effect in the list finishes. To specify or set the timing of the effects, use duration box available in the timing group. It helps you to change and control the speed of animation effect. Similarly, you can set the delay time before the animation begins by using the delay box. You can also use reorder animation buttons to change the order in which the animation effects appear. Click on the preview button in the preview group to view the effects applied on the current slide. Adding transition effects. Transition effects emerge when one slide changes to other during slideshow view. You can apply transition effects to a single slide as well as to all the slides. To add transition effects, follow the steps given below. Select the slide on which you want to apply a transition. Click on the Transitions tab. Transition to the slide group emerges on the ribbon displaying multiple transition effects. Click on the More drop-down arrow to exhibit all the transition effects. Choose any transition effect from the exhibited choices. The current slide will display a preview of the selected effect. Select the effect options in the transitions to this slide group to select any effect from the displayed list. For some transitions like curtains, prestige, this option remains deactivated. 
Click on the drop down arrow of the sound option in the timing group and choose any sound effect of your choice. Click on the preview button and notice its effect. Fix the transition timing by entering the number of seconds or minutes in the duration box in the timing group. Choose the on mouse click checkbox if you want to advance the slide by clicking the mouse. Click on the after checkbox if you want the slide to advance automatically to the next one after a certain period of time. Click on the apply to all button to apply the selected effects on all the slides otherwise those effects will be applied on the current slide only. Inserting sound clips. Effects of music or sound can add a completely new dimension to any presentation. You can add sound in the form of background music or special effects to give importance to specific content. Sound files can be added from the files stored on your computer or on a CD. You can even record your own narration or comment and then edit the audio to customize it for your presentation. Adding sound from a file. First, select a slide where an audio is to be added. Click on Insert tab. Go to Media Group and select the drop down arrow of Audio option. A drop down list appears. Select Audio on My PC option from the list. An Insert Audio dialog box appears on the screen. You need to browse and select the audio file and then click on Insert button. You will see a small speaker icon appears in a slide which indicates that an audio file is inserted. When an audio file is inserted in a slide, two new tabs also appear under Audio Tools tab, Format and Playback. Go to Playback tab, click on Automatically option. If you want an audio to start playing automatically when the slide opens or click on on click option in which an audio will play on a mouse click. While running a presentation, if you click on speaker icon, then an audio will be played. Recording voice narration. To narrate a presentation, a microphone must be attached or built in to your computer. You record the narration for slides one slide at a time or all at one time and the recording is stored in the PowerPoint file, not in a separate audio file. Place your script on your desk and follow these steps to record a voice narration for a slide. Select the slide that needs a voice narration. Go to the Insert tab. Open the drop-down list on the Audio button and choose Record Audio. You see the Record Sound dialog box shown here. Click the record button and start reading your script. Click the stop record button when you want to pause recording. Click the record button to resume recording. You can click the play button at any time to play back what you have recorded so far. Notice that the dialog box notes how many seconds your recording lasts. Click the OK button in the record sound dialog box when you have finished recording the narration for your slide. The audio icon appears on your slide to show that your slide is accompanied by an audio file. Inserting video clips. Video clips are short clips of video usually part of a longer recording. They add liveliness to the presentation. PowerPoint enables you to insert a video into a slide and play it during your presentation. Fact file. A video can be inserted from the internet using online video option. To insert video clip into a slide, follow the steps given below. Firstly, you need to select a slide where you want to insert a video clip. Click on Insert tab. Go to Media group and select the drop-down arrow of video option. A drop-down list appears. Click on Video on My PC option from the list. An Insert Video dialog box appears on the screen. You need to browse and select the video and then click on Insert button. 
two tabs also appear on the ribbon under Video Tools tab, that is Format and Playback. A Format tab can be used to format the added video. To play the video, you need to find the Play button under the video or at extreme left of the ribbon and click on it. Importing Data from Word PowerPoint allows you to import data from other applications such as Word, Excel, etc. and use it in the presentation. Importing data saves our time and efforts. To import data from Word file, follow the steps given below. Open Word 2016 and create a new document. Select the View tab, then click on the Outlining button in the Views group. Type the text as shown below. Now click on Close Outline View button to return to the Print Layout view. Save the file with the name Introduction to Computer and Exit from Microsoft Word. Start PowerPoint and open any existing presentation. Click on the View tab and select the Slide Sorter button. Now click on the New Slide drop-down menu on the Home tab. Select the Slides from Outline option. The Insert Outline dialog box will appear. Browse the location of the Word file Introduction to Computer. Select the file and click on the Open button. Notice that two new slides will get inserted and display the text in a style which you have applied. Quick Backup Moving objects such as text, graphics, charts, logos, etc. that are made up of a sequence of images displayed one after another on the basis of slide are called animations. Transition effects emerge when one slide changes to other during slideshow view. Effects of music or sound can add a completely new dimension to any presentation. A microphone must be attached or built in to your computer to narrate a presentation. Video clips add liveliness to the presentation. PowerPoint enables you to insert a video onto a slide and play it during presentation. PowerPoint allows you to import data from other applications such as Word, Excel, etc. and use it in the presentation.